The guidance in this video is correct as of the 22nd of February 2021. Please check our websites and communication to staff and parents for any changes or updates to this information. In line with government guidance, we're working hard to safely reopen our schools fully to staff and pupils following the national lockdown. We've prepared this short presentation to explain the changes to our working environment and new ways of working. We're looking forward to welcoming everyone back to site and hope that this presentation will make sure that we all understand the role we need to play in keeping everyone safe. Some of this information you will have heard before, but some of it is new. It's vital that everyone plays their part in keeping everyone safe by complying with the instructions and expectations set out in this video. The most important thing that everyone can do is to follow the government's hands, face, space message and not come to school if you have symptoms or have been in close contact with someone who has tested positive. On the return to school, pupils need to be in full uniform, ready and equipped to learn. We have a range of measures in place to support and protect all pupils, staff and visitors. We appreciate that these are unusual times and you will have missed being in school. However, we ask that you pay particular attention to this guidance as the safety of pupils and staff is of paramount importance to us. A full copy of our risk assessment can be found on our website. On our sites, everyone except those medically exempt is required to wear a face covering at all times inside, including in classrooms where social distancing is not possible. Face coverings must be worn in line with government guidance. Face coverings can be removed when eating, but pupils and staff must socially distance from others. Face coverings are now part of our uniform and pupils must bring one with them and wear it every day. Reusable face coverings must be regularly washed. In line with government advice, a face shield or visor is not adequate as a face covering and must not be worn as an alternative to one. Staff and pupils are required to wear a face covering. Anyone wearing a shield or visor will be asked to collect or put on suitable face covering. It's absolutely essential that if pupils, staff or anyone they live with develop any one of the COVID-19 symptoms, they do not attend school and self-isolate in accordance with the government's guidance. If staff or pupils develop these symptoms, they must be tested as soon as possible. It's vital that school is informed of the symptoms and the test result. Also, pupils and staff must not attend school if you or someone in your household is awaiting a test result. If someone in your household has a positive test, other members of the household should continue to self-isolate for 10 days and get a test if they develop coronavirus symptoms. If a pupil in a class or bubble tests positive for coronavirus, we will inform you if your child needs to self-isolate. They do not require a test unless they subsequently develop symptoms. Anyone who feels unwell or experiences symptoms of COVID-19, such as a new persistent cough, high temperature, difficulty breathing or loss of smell and taste, will need to go home as soon as possible and arrangements for this will be made with staff and parents. 
parents will be expected to collect their child immediately. If a pupil is awaiting collection, they will be moved to the allocated room where they can be isolated behind a closed door. Anyone sent home must follow the stay-at-home guidance for households with possible or confirmed cases of COVID-19. They must self-isolate and arrange to have a test as soon as possible. The test result must be shared with the school. Parents, pupils and staff must be ready and willing if necessary to Book a test if they or their child have symptoms. Provide details of anyone they've been in close contact with if asked by NHS Test and Trace. Self-isolate if they've been in close contact with someone who tests positive for COVID-19 or if anyone in their household develops symptoms. We'll be working with the Public Health Protection Team and we'll follow their guidance regarding sending pupils and staff home to self-isolate if we need to. Parents must regularly monitor communication from our schools in case we need to take swift action following a positive case. We'll continue to have staggered start and finish times, as well as staggered lunches and breaks. Please only arrive on site at your allocated time. To reduce the risk of spreading infection, we've introduced the following measures. Allocated entrances and exits for pupils and staff. Using year group bubbles and zones to minimise the number of staff and pupils mixing. Bubbles will have their own classrooms and toilets and pupils will not be able to meet in school with pupils outside of their bubble. Pupils will spend the majority of their day in the same classroom. Teachers will be allocated to each bubble and staff will only move where absolutely necessary to ensure curriculum delivery. There are one-way systems around the site and social distancing reminders. We expect pupils and staff wherever possible to maintain social distancing at all times. Staff must maintain two metres distance from each other. Installing extra hand washing facilities and hand sanitizers, including at entrances and exits. Cleaning work areas and equipment frequently, including all touch points such as balustrades, handrails and door handles which are cleaned and sanitised regularly. Having signage and posters to provide regular reminders to pupils and staff to maintain hygiene standards. Removing waste and belongings from the work area at the end of the day. Plexiglass barriers have been installed at all counter services, including reception and eating venues where people may otherwise stand closer than the recommended safe social distance. When queuing or waiting in line, pupils, staff and visitors should stand back from the counter and observe the social distancing floor markings. When passing on the stairs or corridor, Always walk on the left and wait on the landing areas until the stairs are free to use. Always try to keep at least eight stairs apart from others. Be respectful of others and keep two metres apart. Classrooms have been set up in order to provide appropriate social distancing, with two metres between teachers and pupils. Pupils must not go into this space and staff must remain two metres away from pupils. Do not sit at desks marked with a cross and do not rearrange furniture. Pupils will remain in their year group bubbles. 
These bubbles are vital to reduce the spread of the virus and contain any outbreak. It remains that in the event of a positive case, we may need to close bubbles in full or partially to reduce the risk to staff and pupils. We will inform staff, parents and pupils should this be required at any time. Our school dining rooms and canteens will be open. Cashless systems will be operated and parents are asked to use these. Pupils and staff must sanitise their hands before buying food and again before eating food. Where possible, staff and pupils will be encouraged not to print documents and to operate a paperless system. Those handling cash and resources should wear disposable gloves. Library book lending facilities will only be available where a system is in place to quarantine books for 72 hours. Details will be shared with pupils. Fire is one of the greatest safety risks to our school. If the evacuation alarm sounds, we would ask that you move immediately to the assembly point. You should continue to respect social distancing and follow the instructions of staff. We appreciate that for staff and pupils this will feel different, but it's crucial that these measures are in place to keep everyone safe. While we're taking these stringent additional measures, we would like to remind everyone to play their part. You must not come to school or work if you have symptoms. This includes a fever, loss of smell or taste, or a new and persistent cough. Pupils must not arrive at school before their allocated time and must go home immediately at the end of the day. In line with government guidance, pupils must not wait around before or after school at or near the school gates and should not at any time wait around in groups in the community, washing hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds or using a hand sanitizer when you arrive at home or the school, when blowing your nose, sneezing or coughing, after exercise, visiting the toilet, or before eating and handling food. You must follow good respiratory hygiene, including catch it, bin it, kill it. Avoiding touching your eyes, nose and mouth with unwashed hands. Covering coughs or sneezes with a tissue or your sleeve, then throwing the tissue in a bin and washing your hands. Opening door handles using a clean tissue or paper towel and disposing of the towel properly in a bin afterwards. Sanitising work equipment, such as computer keyboards and telephones, with antibacterial surface wipes before and after use. Avoiding gathering or congregating in groups and observing the social distancing signage, floor markings, and directional signage at all times. We expect all staff, pupils and parents to actively participate in the Government Test and Trace Scheme. Staff and parents must inform the school of any COVID-19 test result. Equipment will not be shared unless cleaned. Therefore, pupils must bring their own pen, pencil and ruler to school. In some subjects, activities will be demonstrated and pupils will not use the equipment to limit the risk of infection. Pupils and staff must leave windows and doors open in classrooms and offices to allow adequate ventilation. We encourage everyone to minimise their use of public transport, walking or cycling where possible. When using a private vehicle to make a journey, 
Cars should only be shared by members of the same household. Where staff or pupils need to use public transport. Social distancing should be taken into consideration. Staying two metres away from others. And avoiding touching surfaces wherever possible. It's a requirement to wear a face covering on public and dedicated school transport. Visitors to our schools, including parents, must have a pre-booked appointment. Please do not come into our site or reception without first phoning and making an appointment. Only one visitor at a time is allowed in our reception areas for everyone's safety. As part of our social distancing measures, staff should conduct meetings remotely where possible. Face-to-face -face meetings should be avoided or time-limited, with social distance practice followed at all times. Our approach to additional PPE, in line with the school's COVID-19 risk assessment, is that the use of additional PPE for the significant majority is not required as an infection control measure while at work. Face coverings are not PPE and all staff and pupils are required to wear a face covering at all times inside and where social distancing cannot be maintained. First aiders will be provided with the appropriate additional PPE. The school's obligation to ensure that pupils and staff who require first aid whilst at school continues. However, because of social distancing, first aid assistance may not be provided in the normal way because of the risk of first aiders contracting coronavirus. Staff should call for first aid support when required and a small supply of plasters and antiseptic wipes are available from reception for the self-treatment of small cuts and grazes if needed. To reduce the risk of accidents, the use of machine tools should be avoided where possible, including pillar drills, lathes and milling machines. If a member of staff or pupil feels unwell or experiences symptoms of COVID-19, such as a new persistent cough, high temperature, difficulty breathing, or loss of smell and taste, you should report to a first aider who will make arrangements for you to go home and seek medical advice. Allocated rooms have been provided for the isolation of anyone with symptoms whilst they await collection. If a pupil is waiting to be collected, they should be moved, if possible, to the allocated room where they can be isolated behind a closed door. Ideally, a window should be opened for ventilation. If it's not possible to isolate them, they should be moved to an area which is at least two metres away from other people. If they need to go to the bathroom while waiting to be collected, they should use a separate bathroom if possible. Staff will contact estates so that the room can be properly cleaned and sanitised afterwards. Teaching staff can remove their face coverings for the purpose of teaching, but only when pupils have sat down and are ready to learn and staff are at least two metres away from pupils. If staff cannot maintain two metres social distance, they must wear a face covering and this includes whilst teaching. Staff must put their face covering back on before dismissing pupils. Also, due to the current situation, please note the following. Pupils will only bring limited work and books home. Staff will give live feedback in lessons and will not be routinely marking work. Pupils who have to learn from home due to symptoms or a positive case will be provided with remote learning work to complete at home. All staff, visitors and contractors should sign in and out when entering and leaving the building. Pupils will be registered in their lessons throughout the day. And finally, 
it's important that we all recognise that the way we work as a school community has changed. And some of these changes are long term. Education is not optional and all pupils are required to attend. Our attendance teams will be monitoring attendance as normal. It's the duty of parents to make sure that their child attends every day unless they have symptoms and are self-isolating following government guidance or have a positive COVID-19 test result. If you need any support, please contact your pastoral leader for pupils and parents and the school business manager for staff. We appreciate all of your support and hope for your commitment to keeping everyone as safe as possible.